All right, all done. Let's get out of here. Stay to charge, 60%. So we pulled out when the car said uh, about a 4% arrival uh, into Green River, Utah. Uh, and yeah, it's been kind of fluctuating between seven and 10. So yeah, looks like we're safe. Um, yeah, good thing we left a little early though, because it would have made us stay there about 10, maybe 15 minutes more than we should have. So, uh, yeah, we gotta watch that and not uh, trust what the car tells us. We are now exiting in Green River, Utah. Let's see what situation we got over here. We are at 9% state of charge. The nice thing is this road runs kind of parallel to the highway, so we will not be getting on here. We'll be getting on back on at the next exit. Off ramps don't have speed limits, right? We can just get as much speed through here as possible and then come in hard under the brakes. And then we gotta come to a full stop because they're not optional according to Alyssa. And then we head over to the charging station. And there's the Tesla supercharger where everyone's going to be charging up. Oh, well, Brandon. Two people. Two Brandon's groups. And we are continuing through town to the little coffee shop up here. Wonderful coffee shop. I hear they're trying to sell the coffee shop. That would be cool to have like an out of spec rest stop, wouldn't it? Yeah, but this is really out in the middle of nowhere. Yeah, but if you're going across I 70, you have no other option. You can't really skip it. All the guys in Grand Junction, they're all coming here. Yeah, I guess so. Yeah, and it's already got an EA station attached to it. So let us know if we should buy Green River Coffee and turn it into the out of spec, uh, like, uh, service station of some kind. Service station? Because you don't drink coffee. No, don't like coffee. No. It okay. would have to be Starbucks. Strawberry acai Starbucks. Yeah, he, he would put a Starbucks in there. That's probably yeah. it. Model Y with roof racks, no license plate, but rally wheels and a lift. That was cool. Miss the entrance as usual. I always miss the freaking entrance. I'm coming this side. Let's raise up the suspension because we got to do some off roading here. Don't run over this lady. Everyone out of our way. He's in no rush. So, where's the 350? So, that's a 150. I'm hoping. Well, there's a 350. So let's just block all this. <laughs> now, what we'll do is we'll just pull really close on the right side. Man, they had all this room and they made this charging station so freaking tight. Let's get her charging. Wait, let's activate the charger first. So the reason I'm using the Porsche app here to activate the charger is because plug and charge is great, but it adds some time. So this is number three. So let's select this, Electrify America. You should actually do this, Alyssa, next time to save some time. 350 kilowatts. Number three, it says out of service. What? Let's see. We may have to go over to that one. The problem with that one is how do we connect it to the car? It says ready, ready, but it says it can't be reached. So hold on, let's activate number two, available, start charging, that's that one. We gotta go over to that side. This issue may be similar to the one that we saw last time where the charger didn't even recognize that the car was plugged in. We couldn't start a session. Hell oh, yeah, brother. V8 and freedom. In we go. Come on. Come on. Boom. We did it before it timed out. Let's go. Big speeds. It's warm out. What's the temp out? 60. 60? Yeah, we got the suspension in high over here. Cable cooling's on. Come on, let's work. Yes, contactors are going. Come on, come on, come on. Does the car say it's charging yet? Nope. Here we go. And the car says it's charging. I see the green indication right here. Here, I lean back a little bit. 143 and doubles. Nice, that's what we're looking for right there. Good stuff. All right, we are 30 minutes out from Green River, just as Kyle is pulling into Green River to charge. He just passed the Tesla Supercharger, which Drew and Brandon are en route to, although I don't know if they're stopping there, but they are close to Green River. Um, Drew is about 15 minutes 
Grand is about 10 minutes out, and the Mustang is about 15 minutes behind us. So we are all kind of spread out slightly, but still all within around an hour of each other. Um, with Kyle having to stop and charge, that'll narrow the gap a little bit, but still he is obviously in the lead. Of course, he's done this route more than anyone on earth, so <laughs> no one's really surprised. Yeah. <laughs> All right, Alyssa, well, we're getting good juice, so we may as well stay here until we taper and then figure out if we can make it to the next. Do you want to grab a coffee at Green River Coffee? Yes. Should we ask them how much they want for it? Yeah. No. <laughs> Wouldn't that be cool? We could just have this little building. It would just say, out of spec studios. Subscribe. No, I would never do that. I hate I hate that stuff. It probably wouldn't even be a say out of spec. Yeah, no. It wouldn't even have our logo. No, I don't like branding. Go, go, go. Let's charge. Let's charge. Go, go, go. Go, go, go. Are on. All right, phew. We've just tapered down to 208 kilowatts. I'm wait I just called Alyssa. I said, we got to go uh, because Richfield and Salina are next and we have some crazy elevation stuff, but I know we can make it uh, down to 208 kilowatts. That's how you know this is a true road tripper when we're unplugging at over 200 kilowatts. You want to unplug her? Sure. All right, go for it. Unplug. You hit the, did you hit the stop button? Yeah, and get let wait for it to unlock. Now pull it. Then it, it should just come out easy. Close a little flap, push it in. All right, let's go. We're already in reverse. Let's do this thing. Come on, hop in. The guys haven't even made it to Green River yet, and we're already leaving. I didn't get my coffee. <laughs> well, that sucks. Yeah, they are. But it's just really a one. Cute. Yeah, the puppy was cute, but it's just a one lady operation. And yeah. I think out of spec should do this. That'd be pretty cool. All right. Everyone out of our way. Here we go. Drop the suspension. We got to take it out of sport mode, put it in range. So we just go drive, drive mode, range. All right. So that was pretty much a perfect uh, leg. So that's pretty much maximizing to the best of our ability. Just wish we could charge a little bit faster. This one's going to be a, uh, a V3, so we should get a little bit better charge, but we will see. The Model 3 just got here with Drew, but luckily we got here first. Yeah. Kyle, you may be in first place with your Taycan, but only peasants have to open their doors. Imagine. Imagine touching your door. Come on, get a better car. All right, charging. Oh, charging stop, not here. Charger issue. Never like when that happens, okay. So here's the map as to where it says it thinks we can make it to. Uh, this is where I think we're going to try and make it to because it's a Signet um, DC fast charger, which I think should output the maximum and we should get even a little bit faster charging in my estimation. So Electrify America. We weren't charging fast enough here? We did 259 kilowatt peak, but the car can technically do 270. And it's because the chargers are limited to 350 amps at pack voltage. So it's near as makes no difference, but 270 is better than 260. And, and that's that's where we want to go. So it shows a 5% arrival. Uh, that's perfect. Hopefully we can just kind of hammer through. The, the estimation is going to get all freaked out with the elevation coming up. And I think we actually do come in as some wind. We have no wind right now, which is wonderful. And uh, we just have a very slow Honda CRV in front of us. Yeah, buddy. <laughs> the CRV life, always blocking out a spec. So let's. Uh, get, what are they doing? <laughs> come on. <laughs> 30 miles an hour. You've got to be kidding me. 
to cross Turismo, take the rally line. Whoa, <laughs> we're all roading. Hey, it's a cross Turismo. It's got the off road design pack, rally line. Right. 80 mile an hour speed, so let's just get it up there, shall we? Battery pack's nice and warm. Oh. 85, 86, what do we need to get it to? 85 maxed out? 86. Yeah, but it can't do it in range mode. Uh, and we're gonna be at yeah, four percent arrival to the charger. Let's rock and roll. Okay, so here at where are we again? Green River, um, and uh, yeah, I actually had to switch to the charger next to us because uh, this one didn't, uh, or that one didn't click on. Now we're doing 120 kilowatts and ramping up. Not sure what that was, but hey, look who that is. I have never come through here when it's sunny out. I'm always leaving like late, so it's always pitch black. The only other time I've come through here when it was sunny was when we were on a cannonball in the last Tycon we took through here. Look at that sky, this rock face, doing the big climb, 3% projected arrival, perfect. Just cruising a little bit, you know, five over. I forgot how slow the speed limits were. <laughs> But I think we have just the perfect amount of charge buffer, 3% to make it to the Signet chargers at the next one. And then it's it's game on, it's hammer time. We're still in the lead. We left that charger before the others even stopped to charge. What about the Teslas? The Teslas are closing in, but they're just getting to the chargers now. So Drew and, and uh, Brandon are getting there at pretty much the exact same time. strategies so just had another stoppage um, just checked our account and everything is, is good I mean brand new car so maybe that you know I didn't set that up or something like that but nope everything's set up okay back to charging up to 143 hopefully it continues the second place crew is cranking out the charging second place we found the uh, 350 that works okay I'm just gonna, I'm gonna look at it I'm gonna go <laughs> Please work. All right, espresso bar. Now we're talking. Yeah, if, anyone, if anyone's wondering, great coffee in Green River. <laughs> All right, we're leaving right now. We're going to actually make sure that we don't get beat by Drew over there. They're waving to us. Um, so we're going to make it there with like 7% or 8%. It's going to be tight. 75, 80. Come on. Go, so it's go, cranking go. up the speed, but uh, we have. The station kept telling us charging session error, but it was like a false negative because it is actually charging. So, not sure what that's all about. And this, this station appears to be working. We thought about trying to do it, but um, on the app it won't let you start it because the app thinks this station's broken. So that's a bit confusing. What are we at? 187. 187. At 12%. All right, that's decent. Not what it can do, but... The way we've been going this trip, I'll we'll see what it. happens. We will see a Tesla pull by if they are leaving. Let's find out. <laughs> What's the minimum we need on this charger? 70. <laughs> yep. Yeah, man. Hey, sorry, Mr. Cole. How's everything going? Um, oh, yeah, we're good. We had a little trouble getting the charger started, but we, on the third attempt, we got it going. But it actually says charging session error, but it's still charging. Are you using number, what number charger are you Ron, using? Two. Ron number two. Yeah, yeah, just use number two. Yeah, yeah, so, but it's, it's going now. We're getting, we're getting decent speed. What do you get? Uh, it's like, 195 at 12%. That's not decent. <laughs> it, should, it should be better, but. Yeah, but you'll let it, it'll warm up now, now that it's 60 degrees. All right, now we're going. Yeah, now we're at two, 224. There at you 20. go. That's how you win yeah. this thing. Dude, we're in second place. The Tesla guys are still charging. They well, haven't passed us yet. They only have a 150 kilowatt charger, and if they use one of the closest four to the street, they're only capped at 120, 125 kilowatts. I did not tell them that little trick. They would have known if they're avid viewers of Out of Spec. So you have the opportunity to take the lead here and to stretch. Yep, all it. we need is we need 70 percent to to get. I don't even think we're, you need that much. 
You don't think so? Uh, well, so the hill climb definitely will freak you out, but you, you got to go slow because the speed limit's 60. And then, so okay. we just finished the first climb. There's like two or three, but the first one's the biggest. And we charged to 55% and we plan to arrive at 3% in Salina, I believe is the name of it. Yeah, it's the next Electrify America. Yeah, and it's a Signet unit which should pump out all the 500 amps that everything needs here. I mean, now that we both need 500 amps, but we need more than 350. I'm done giving, giving tips, they can figure it out. <laughs> Got my coffee, and we are now ripping. The model, uh, or the Mustang Mach-E is pulling in. And what are we at? I guess I can't see on the charger. It's broken. 231, let's go! 231, okay. Nice. Okay, just plugged in. <laughs> I like how everything starts off really well, and then no, it's like, ah! Not recognizing the fucking truck. Oh, shoot. Where's my phone? It's in my pocket. Oh, no, it's connecting now. Okay, good. Ooh, that's a good sound. Oh, that's so good. I don't think so. They were already charging high. Maybe it's like theirs and it'll just keep saying that, but... Yeah, that's how I'm going to turn this on. Yeah. So apparently their vehicle uh, is not showing that it's charging, but it is. Let's go look. Charging session error. But they're charging. What do we have? We're charging. We're charging. Okay. Uh, it's just... Fars charging at 80% at 115. What time is it? Uh, 12:37. We'll see. Oh wow! So did you guys pull in front of the Teslas? Yeah, we saw them. Were they still over there when y'all pulled up? I don't think so. I think it was empty, but I'm not sure. We were in second place for like three minutes. So nice. <laughs> How did that feel? That felt good. <laughs> felt good, but it didn't last. It was sort of nice being by ourselves because I didn't feel the like, oh no, they're in front. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we just listen to music. We're having a good time. I wish these were all consistent. It, it's charging. I just don't know what speed. I'd hit continue again because they've been a little sticky. I, I did. Okay. It's just really, really laggy. Thank you for choosing Electrify America. At least we've gotten that far. And eventually it'll tell us what's happening. That is really nice and clear. Wow, 180 kilowatts. They're at 65%, six minutes to 80. And they're gonna be pulling out of here. What kind of sabotage can I do while I'm in his car? Hmm, I would. Really nice looking though. Really, really like this. Clean. The one down there, is, is that the three? It says it's dead, but it looks like it's open. Oh, that is what someone said on Plug Share. It, it's fine. All right. Because um, um, it'll it'll drift back down to about 120. Yeah. What I'm doing anyway. They're out of here. All right, get out of here. All right. Get out of here, have some fun. Yeah, they're still charging. Are they? It's over there, yeah. Oh, cool. There, so. Okay. I guess he did roll in at three percent. Drew did yeah. so. Oh, come on. Go. <laughs> Do you want to push? <laughs> Bye! Saying goodbye to the Maki. -E. We are trying to get a head start on Drew. What's, is it the Loves? Go right, is that yeah. the next one? Yeah, it Loves the next one. So Drew is still back there charging because it's a slow Tesla charger, I think. It's yes. not a level three. So, uh. Alright, let's arrow this thing up. Full. So we got, we got 173, 105, we're good. Yeah, 69%, it's gonna be great. Um, so, yeah, how are you feeling so far? I mean, how far I'm feeling we, better. How far are we total in this trip? Uh, I got you on that. We are at 403 miles in the trip, and our average miles per kilowatt is 2.9. And we've been going 85, 80, five, whatever, five miles over the speed limit. So in Colorado, we are doing 80, yep. and we got into Utah, we were doing 85. Yep. So we're gonna push on to allegedly. Oh yeah, we'll push, allegedly. push on to Loves, which Loves. is our next stop. So basically, from here it's like charger hopping 
We're in our stride quick, now. Yeah, quick charges. Um, How long was that last one? We were there for, even with the charging errors, we were there for like 15 minutes or something? If that, yeah. That was a really fast charge. Yeah. I barely had time to get my coffee. Yeah, so <laughs> I'll take it. Decent coffee, not great. Um, <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna have a whole separate a whole separate review on the coffee. <laughs> yeah, that's all right. That's all right. Just checked and it was 13 minutes on the last charge, yeah, which now got we're us going what like 68 percent, 11 to 68. So pretty pretty, pretty good. Decent, yeah. Um, so right now, yeah, we're just focusing on staying podium finish because we are in the middle of the pack. Third place. Third place. Behind, third place. Behind the Taycan Model <laughs> X. So I did predict Taycan Model X to probably be like the winners just because model x purely has a great range and also the same charging speed as us also i feel like the model 3 is dealing with other stuff outside of just normal two dudes in a car yeah you know? i mean yeah there's there's other things at play well there. yeah so we'll we'll see how uh i'm excited to like debrief when we all congregate in vegas yeah so onward through the desert through the desert hi amy hi how are you doing, I'm doing Good. Awesome. Well, thank you so much for being open, even though you're running this place all by yourself. Yep. Loving it. Loving yeah. Doing it, but ready to let it go too. So, but yeah. My heart and soul in it, and really would like to see it stay a coffee shop, but I would like to pass it on to someone else at this point and go play. <laughs> fair enough. Yeah. Fair enough. You've made a beautiful place, and I hope that the perfect person finds it. Me so too. Keeps I'm on the to legacy. Think I have somebody lined up, and if they're still interested. Otherwise, then I'll start listing it and okay. see what I can get from there. But. Well, if uh, if we hear anything about you listing it or whatever, we'll put the details down below. But hopefully, it keeps its life as a coffee shop Absolutely. and a I great stop for us. Fascinating, all of the the right? EV charging people that are coming through. Right. Absolutely. Awesome. Well, thank you so much thank for creating the really space. Glad you came through and Likewise. Call me anytime. Sweet. Thanks. Bye. Bye. Maybe not, but at least we'll have fun. Yeah, have fun doing it. <laughs> have fun and good coffee. Absolutely. Right, buddy? Yeah. <laughs> so right now we're actually going downhill, and it's showing our efficiency is total crap. But as you can see, it's literally dropping as we go downhill. So that's really cool. We're going to finish at 74%, which is way higher than what we needed. Again, we got talking to people, which <laughs> was what we love doing. It's still pulling 81, but... This is way above what we need, so we're gonna get on the road. And we spent sixteen dollars and twelve cents. We were only here for thirty-four minutes. Yeah. Wow, it feels longer. Yeah, I know because they left thirty-four minutes ago. Oh, <laughs> that's true. Okay. Right, we are just pulling off behind the Jayco uh, trailer. We are at what are we at? Seven miles remaining. Four percent state of charge. It's over at the Love's charging station. I'm really, Love's gas station is the charging station. Also, there's an RB, so maybe some lunch. What do you think, Alyssa? Oh, Arby's is like my number one hated. <laughs> I know, that's why I asked. <laughs> anyway, um, just gonna run over there, plug into the Signets. Let's see if we can get you know better power on the Signets. It's the first time I've used a Signet EA station in a long time, and I'm really looking forward to it. Uh, to see what this 350 amp limitation thing is that I keep talking about to see if it's on these I heard it was we got adaptive cruise bringing us perfectly down to a stop inching us along uh, This car does not have Porsche's Inno drive, but it is available uh, Inno drive is basically their lane centering and all this stuff This just pushes you in if you hit a line But I believe since this car has the hardware it can just be software updated to it Okay, we gotta make some moves here, so everyone just get out of our way. Here we go, up to the loves. Car still has pretty good power too, down to single digit percent range. Good 4% for it to accelerate like this. There are the signets. It's a totally open station, I hope. Yes? Okay. I should have gone in the yeah. exit, but it's the exit, so. We have such a lead. We should be good, and the police are right there anyway, so. Nothing to see here. Nice F-150. That's a good looking truck. Just checking out the Taycan. All right, now let's see which one of these are 350 kilowatts. I think this one is, yes, and that one. So we can use either of these two if one doesn't happen to work. So inching up, let me get it connected on the app and we'll plug it in. 
grabbing the handle. A little dusty in there, but should work. In we go. Man, let's see what we get. All right, these signets, I haven't used one in a long time. They are capable of 500 amps, but maybe not at this voltage. Yep. Let's see how this thing goes. Come on. What do you think we're going to get? You think we'll see 250 plus? Mm-hmm. Man, if we see 250 plus on plug-in, it just proves my point. But I don't know what we'll see. The batteries look toasty on this thing. What's it at? 151. 151. 217. Come on, baby. Let's go. It likes 218, 217. Okay, well, we'll just let it think about life, but I'm pleased with that. We unplugged at 208, plug it in at 218, 220, 221. Come on! <laughs> we just crested another uh, summit or pass, I guess you could say. So we're at 7,800 feet. Holy cow. 62 degrees out though, still warm. So at the moment, it's the rated 33 miles of range, 26 miles remaining, but that's gonna be way off because of all the climbing we've been doing. So it feels tight, but it's really not because we're downhill for the next seven miles according to the sign we just passed. But we're just kicking it here in the Onyx 5 in solid third place, very, I mean, middle of the pack, like Kyle and um, Brandon and the Model X and the Tycon are uh, I don't know what 20 minutes ahead of us yeah. 30 minutes something like that one slip up from the Model X we're in, we're in second place yeah we need the Model X to find a level 2 charger that keeps bricking we need the Tycon to pop a tire out of <laughs> <laughs> we need the Tycon to overheat or something yeah <laughs> but I think I think Kyle's got this one in the bag well we ran inside you got some snacks we got a little lunch even though you don't like Arby's I do uh, 12 minutes later we're already at 58% probably ready to go to the next one <laughs> we are tapered down to 189 kilowatts right there and uh, yeah probably should unlock the car i haven't even looked to see what the next station is so looks like we're slowing down this car a little bit here well we're charging up here but the battery packs at 127 degrees f which means it's ripping uh the ea app won't even load <laughs> really there we go okay so we are here in salina Beaver, so we're gonna obviously skip that. We can skip Beaver. Let's see how far it is to Cedar City. Um, the maps will load. Pretty bad service here. So I think you have full bars. I know, but sometimes full bars and AT and T don't mean the same thing. 133 miles. We have 165. What's the next one after that? Richfield? No. Gosh. So far off. St. George, I think we should have unplugged a few minutes ago if everything was perfect, but now that we're here, maybe it makes sense to stay a little bit longer till we can go to St. George or Washington. It's a busy charger area though. 179 miles and we're at 169. I think at this point, because we kind of let the car down by going to get some food, we stay until St. George. So we'll just stay here until we're at another five to 10%. So let's cool down the car while we're connected to the charger, air conditioned seats on. Um, we'll take the charger power for all this auto here. The only thing with the Tycon is you really gotta keep that screen clean. So uh, I'll show you how it works on the car for me to find the chargers. So St. George is right around here. I can see the HPC, it shows us, HPC means it's like a crazy fast one, and then DC means it's kind of a slower one. We want the HPC, Electrify America, Walmart, boom, throwing it in. It shows we need to stop and charge. I'm gonna say we don't wanna stop and charge. So let's see what happens if I say I don't want to. No, uh, uh, uh. Uh, 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 delete charging plan. Yes, I would, ah, uh, crap. Did I hit the right button or the wrong button? The right button, minus 1%. Ooh. Yeah, so we just stay for another 5% or so, and then rock and roll. All right, let's unplug this thing. We have what, 4% buffer, 5% buffer? Five. 5%, ah, plenty. Come on, unlatch, unlatch, unlatch. There we go, 
Unlatched. Charging port. Closed. Okay, here we go. In the car. Into reverse. Take a look at this, by the way. Uh, no wind. Wonderful conditions. Absolutely no wind. So, we can hammer it in range mode. Someone's pulling in, but they're just going to have to get out of our way. Because we're in a race. we got to put the car... In range mode, this one doesn't have sport chrono, so I can't do it here on the wheel. So I gotta go here, drive mode. Whoops, drive mode, range. Let's do it. Home. I can just click nav shortcut as well. Now let's make sure we go the correct way. This is where we almost got pulled over <laughs> with Drew in the Tycon 4S. We came ripping around the corner way too hot. There was a cop sitting right there, and Time and I just woke up in full ABS in the dashboard. <laughs> and they didn't pull us over, they pulled the guy over, I think either in front or behind, I don't remember, but he was still pulled over by the time we left. You'll see that in the video right over here. Thought he might still be there today. Anyway, let's go. We gotta get up to 85 miles an hour. There we go. Driver assistance on, locked in, merging over. And that's how you do it. They still, no one has even made it to this town. We are charged, we got food. And we are hammering. That is the power of Tycon. This is the proof, in my opinion, that vehicle range doesn't matter. It's all about the charging. But of course you need enough range once your charging starts to taper. But it's all about the charging. This is an awesome road trip in this thing, isn't it, Alyssa? Yeah, beautiful views. Beautiful views. Right now we're about 10 minutes away from the next charging station in Richfield. And we have about 9% battery left, and we'll get there with about 5%. Just hit low EV battery, which is the first time we've seen that warning on this trip, which I know Kyle would be appalled at, because Kyle's yeah. like, don't charge until it's down to one, uh, which is valid. But uh, we are approaching the charger. We got just about five miles left. So decent. Uh, Going 85, speed limit's 80, yep. allegedly. Yep, so just hauling through Utah. Beautiful country. Beautiful, beautiful. Okay guys, so we just got a picture of the map and we passed Kyle, so we need to keep our first place position. This is gonna be tough because right now, we're at 5% battery and we're still a couple miles away from the supercharger, so we need to make this work because we're gonna win. Just pulled in to uh, some nice looking hardware. Let's go. Number three, 350 kilowatt. What is our state of charge, sir? 8%. 8%. So we should see decent speeds. It's fairly warm out, about 70 degrees, I think. Initiating charging. Yes. There we yes. go. First try. First try, first time in the trip. It's sad you have to celebrate that sometimes. Yeah. We need to charge to about 80, is that right? So yeah. only 20 minutes. Come on, baby, go, 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 all the way. Yes, keep going, keep going, keep going. Passing 150. Come on, passing 170. We're going to see 200. Yep. Yes! It's 200, past 200. All right, we're going to go to the bathroom. 215, 220. <laughs> Beautiful. We just passed Brandon. I didn't get it on camera, but he just got off there in Richfield. We are driving by with 71%, uh, so we are smoking everyone in this thing. I wonder how the Ionic 5 is doing at this time. I have no clue where they are. We have no clue where anyone is. No, there's no service to talk to anybody. Yeah, that stretch has no service, so everyone's just kind of scattered, but wow, if Brandon's just pulling off now, I thought it would have been closer than that. Well, Alice is like 50 miles away from there. Something like that. We are just smoking the crowd in the Porsche. Okay, yeah, we'll, we'll probably pass St. George and maybe go straight to Mesquite. It depends, honestly. 237 Woo! kilowatts, Th That's 38. Good. So we are seeing finally the full potential of this car. Fans are going on the charger, or cooling is going on the charger, fans are going on the car. We're gonna rip out of here as soon as we see a taper because uh, a better route planner says we could leave at 50%. But yeah, I think we'll do 55, maybe 60. We'll just see what the speeds are. 239. So didn't film the, uh, the exit from Green River. Uh, trying to uh, juggle about a dozen things on this on this trip uh, but we got charging and uh, we 
we're going to make it to uh, this Beaver, Utah charger. And then it says, first of all, I don't know why that's always doing that. But anyway, um, temporary closure. So rather than stretch it and make it there, which we, it looks like we can't anyway, we're going to Richfield. We are just about to merge onto I-15, um, but here's a little update from, I don't know, a little while ago. Drew is, and Alice are all the way back there. I don't know what they're doing, to be honest. Not sure what's going on. That's very unlike Drew. Brandon was ahead of us for a short period of time, but then we quickly overtook him. You guys saw that. So this is from back at the Charger, or pretty much. And the Ionic 5 is not far behind us. I believe that's when they were at the charging station. So the Ionic 5's really starting to catch catch up to this thing. And uh, the Maki? The Maki? Oh yeah, behind Drew. <laughs> yeah, don't. Yeah. Why are they? What's, what are they doing? All right, we're stopping at 77%. Took us 17 minutes, and we uh, reached down to the 120 kilowatt speed. So. Heading on to, we're gonna see if we can make it to St. George, but if not, Cedar City. Either one will be our last stop. We have one more stop before the final destination in Vegas. Update, I'm wearing my Tesla shirt, by the way, which Tesla was an accident. <laughs> so originally I was supposed to be with Drew and then um, things got moved around. So now I'm with Zach in the Onyx 5 with my Tesla shirt. Champion team though. But yes, we are still in third place. We just finished charging at Salina, Salina, whatever it's called, in Utah. Insane charge. We got back on the highway one mile ahead of Drew. Still. But he still has to charge. And now what just got interesting is Brandon is up ahead in Richfield or Richmond or something like that, Richfield. And that charger is giving him not it's working, but it's 72 kilowatts. So we are on schedule to pass him, although he will get fully charged, and then we'll see. He might that might be his last stop. Might be his last, I think that's his last so stop. So this will be interesting. We're we're battling it out for a second. Kyle has an easy win at the moment. He's 40 miles ahead of us. And I mean really he's just basically 30 minutes ahead no matter what. But also I bet Kyle's sweating in his car, the AC's not on. Yeah. <laughs> he probably doesn't have the radio on. Like his phone's gonna be dead when we get there because he refused to charge it. <laughs> so there's different levels of road tripping, right? Yeah. <laughs> there's there's the one where it's like it's Kyle where he's like, Oh, the car says I can do two hundred miles, I could probably do two hundred and ten. Yeah. And then there's like I feel like our first stop, we regret doing. We feel like we could have made it further, but we're also trying to capture what would the average person do on a road trip. And on. most people would not be like, oh, our car can't make it that far. Well, I'm gonna push it. Most people would play it safe. So we've got two different dichotomies here. And of course, Kyle doesn't really understand the second one, but <laughs> that is a more realistic one, honestly. Um, so we are pushing through. Utah, oh, it's freaking gorgeous out here. Yeah. So these chargers are really slow. They were only giving us 72 kilowatts per hour. Um, but we got to 5% if we make it to our destination of the next supercharger, which is in about 40 miles. So I think we're just gonna go ahead and go because we were charging really slow. Yeah, you can unplug it and we're gonna go. So we're leaving these slow chargers now. We don't recommend coming here if you have a Tesla, but Let's hope we can catch up to Kyle. I don't know. He passed us, so let's hope. Hey, love that sound. Authorized. Hey. Initiating charge. Hope we can see anything. And Patrick is answering questions. Yes, let's get the member rate. I love that. All right, we rolled in at 15%. We're getting 46 kilowatts. Come on, get get some more. 46? Come on. Do I do I have a 146? Anybody? Anybody? Come on. Come on, pop it up here. Is that what we get for trying to use a 350? Uh-oh. Is it 31? No, it's 46. Uh, still 46. Move. Yeah. So the lady wanted to know about EVs. She just wanted to know how long it took to charge. Her son wants one. Aww. So I'm gonna move over to 
One of those, yeah. Oof. Ridgefield, Utah supercharger is rough. Capped at 72 kilowatts. But Beaver seems to have opened up, so we're good to go as soon as Alice gets back from the bathroom. Okay, so we're about to get to the next supercharger, and the screen says there's 24 chargers there. So let's see if there's actually 24 chargers. I see like a lot. I don't know, it's like 10. And we still have 3% oh, battery. Oh, I see a battery. ton. Oh my gosh, oh. there is a lot of chargers here. If you're a Tesla owner, come here. People got the, the cattle guards right here. Hmm, which ones we use? The fast one. There's so many options. Some of these aren't even open yet. Okay, I need 250, not 150. 150, 150. I bet all these people are, yeah. Wow, there are a lot. There are a lot. Oh my Jeez. gosh. Okay, so these are over all, here. These are all 250. Right, we're going to plug this in right now and see if we can get Nevada quick. Hey, Kyle. Hey. hey. How's it going? Uh, we just started trying to see if we can go for one stop. We're in Ridgefield and about to hunt flood, but it looks like we're going to have to do two. Uh, yeah, uh, so what, what are you thinking your next stop will be? Um, I forget what I'm saying. I think it was saying, uh, Beaver, just to get a little bit into Mesquite. Uh, don't you think, you could probably just stretch it all the way, because we left from Salina, we have a lot less range than you do. We left from Salina going all the way to St. George. Uh, okay. So then hit, like, something in between. Hmm. Yeah, I mean, we're a little bit off of, you know, sink or so, but I wouldn't listen to the in-car route planner because that's going to be way too conservative. I would just do it manually and uh, see what you yeah. can make it to. Just taking in the beautiful mountain views of Utah, approaching Nevada. So, yeah, we are, let's see, 36 miles from Cedar City. 53 miles range left, 27% is charged. We should get there with, uh, I don't know, under 10. And our plan is to charge up to about 75 or 80. Yep. 75 should get us there. Hopefully another quick charge. And we passed Brandon. Brandon stopped in Beaver, which to my knowledge is a level two, although a good level two, or version two, sorry, supercharger. So he should see speeds up to about 150 kilowatts. But this puts us ahead of him. We are heading to a full speed DC fast charging unit. And we're still ahead of the Model 3. Yeah, and we're still way ahead of Drew. Um, so even if with this next stop, even if we charge to 80, we should still be safely in second place. No chance of catching the Tycon unless Kyle blows another tire. So. <laughs> but the Mustang is way in our rear. Man. Yeah, Mustang is at Richfield right now, which is where we were. Oh, it's still there? Uh, it was, it was a couple minutes ago. Oh, wow. But, yeah. That's way back there. Yeah. Wow, that's like an hour behind us. Yeah. So, we'll, uh, we'll see. I, I, I don't know what the delta is going to be between um, Tycon and Mustang, but this is an interesting outcome because CCS might come in one, two, but also last. All right. Our vehicle range has increased. Would you like to recalculate the charges along your route? Yes, we would. Still says two chargers. <laughs> what did it say? It still says two chargers. Yeah, it's still gonna say that. We're just gonna go and uh, we'll do some Google Maps to we'll go with the flow. Yeah, we're gonna go to. We're gonna just gonna say we're going to George or St. George and um, let it calculate that way with Google Maps and know that I have 193 miles of range. All right, we're about to go to Mesquite. We just finished supercharging and we're gonna go, go, because we're almost in last. We are at 12% state of charge. We are approaching, we're just eight miles out of uh, Cedar City. Yep. So the it says we need to charge for 15 minutes and Brandon is 22 minutes behind us and he has no charging stops left. So we need to charge fast and get on the road before Brandon passes us. That's a guess though, he might. He might. Yeah, he, assuming he charged deep enough in Beaver, which I'm pretty sure he did. He was there for a while. Um, so, and Drew is right behind Brandon. So it is really getting down to neck and neck for second place. Um, and Kyle's, for, for all we know, he's already in Vegas he's partying right. somewhere. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> but this is gonna be close because also Electri America has, it says one 350 is, is available. 
So it's gonna be, yeah. This no ID fours, no ID fours. Yeah, I'm hoping there's no ID four like blocking it or something. Or, a Mustang. or yeah, or anything really. Like yeah. we need that 350. Otherwise, we are out of the running for second, and then it's fighting for third in between two Teslas, and then it'd be every other one finish line, which is still cool. But except for the Mustang, I would love to have a one two CCS finish. That would be legendary. All right, so we just uh, stopped at uh, Beaver, Utah. Um, just about done charging here, and yeah, kind of playing the uh, the game of uh, how how low of a percentage are we okay with uh, expected arrival percentage to the next uh, supercharger, and uh, I think somewhere around four or five is is safe, and we're trying to make up some time. So let's go. All right, got the satisfying click. Looks like good hardware, nicer screens. We have an ID4 taking up a 350. Look at that. Good thing there was another one. Initiating, please start, please start. Start right away, start we right are, away. We are right like away. on the wire. We have like minutes of buffer. It's going. Why does initiating take so long? Oh no. <laughs> there we go, it's going. All right, bathroom break speed. We have like 14 minutes basically. Charging started. Charging started, okay. Uh-oh. What? It's hanging out at 69 at 8%. Why? Probably too hot. This is not coming. where down yeah. the outside. Nothing we can do. We're on the fastest charger. This uh, is gonna the be... vents aren't even open. This is going to be really close. No. Oh, man. Oh. <laughs> I don't know. Man. That first charger screwed us over by not really getting above like 100. Yeah, if this one doesn't go above 60, we're screwed. Yep. There's no point in changing. We can't change because the ID4 is stuck there. Yep. <laughs> he probably tried that one. It didn't work. He's like, oh, I'm going to do this one. Yeah. And it, I think he's actually done charging, by the way, too. Oh, yeah. So have fun with those idle fees, bro. <laughs> we have just been knifing our way through traffic, trying not to go over our limit, and uh, just been absolutely loving it. Now we're down to 70 mile an hour speed, so no more than 75. But we're getting off here in uh, Green, no, where are we? St. George, Utah, which I have to say, our efficiency on this last leg was massive. It's gotta be so good. Let's take a look. Trip since charging, 315 one hour per mile. Oh, not as good as I thought. Felt very efficient. We were kind of downhill. We did have a slight headwind, but very slight. Um, okay, we need to like maneuver through traffic here and we have to turn left. So everyone get out of our way because we are turning left. So I pulled the car out of range mode, threw it into sport mode, this time not to heat it up, but to try and at least let the temperature do what it wants to do. We've already dropped two degrees on the temperature because it's uh, range mode. Basically what it tries to do is to limit the amount of temperature adjustment or control that it's doing um, so that you're more efficient, which is great. But when it comes to the route planner, taking it out of range mode definitely does seem to adjust the temperature. As soon as I did that, we dropped from about 100, 101 down to 98. And so, yeah, and I heard the AC compressor spin up a little bit more. So the EA stations are just over here. This has been a notorious problem stop for us in the past. Um, and so we're gonna go use these ABB units. I see a red Mach-E plugged into one of them. There's just people running around. So let's just head over there, plug in. It's a tight charger. So does that say 350? Yes, and that's number four. So let's plug in here, do, 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 my Porsche app, map, here we are, Walmart, oh god, chargers, 350, boom, CCS, 4, available, start charging, let's do it, here we go, we got some dirty clothes on the ground over here, typical shenanigans in St. George, you want one of my favorite charging stops? And uh, let's see how she does. Oh, nice. Oh, yes. That's what we want right there. 240 kilowatts. This is our last charging stop of the day. And so what that means is we are going to get just enough range to make it to the house in Vegas. And even if we have to push it to the charger after that, that's cool with me, but we're gonna maximize, as everyone hopefully is on this trip, maximizing the capabilities of their car. So we keep trying 
and it wouldn't go above 70, so we're trying a different now, cable. World refresh. And now the station thinks it's still in use. Yeah, it's still in use. Although the station says plug in first, but on the app it says still in use. Here, let's do this. It's now Good finally plug. available. It took like two minutes of valuable time. We're, we're screwed. We're hoping for third place now. Yeah, Brandon's gonna pass us because slow charging. Yay! <sighs> CCS is gonna win, but also we had it. We were right there. Yeah, we had it in not the bag. Not our CCS. Come on, Hopefully, baby. it's not bricked. Oh. The car was, uh, you know, vents were open. The car was ready to cool, but we didn't hear cable cooling. Yeah. So we're hoping the second cable. Will actually... got pretty, it's pretty warm too. Yeah, so hoping the second cable. I'm not gonna touch it. Starting started. Checking the speed. Already passed. Seven. Yes, 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 yes. All right, we're cranking up to our speeds finally. So we have to hit 77. Lost some valuable minutes, but uh, yeah, we have to. 75. 75% is what we need to get to the Airbnb. We could maybe do 70, but I, yeah, there's a lot of uh, variables. But it, we We're already. We're going though. We're going. Brandon's only, well, I guess probably now eight minutes away. God. So he's going to pass us. And I think, <sighs> yep. He Maybe he has to stop again. Maybe. Maybe. We are, we are. 177 Assuming miles. they don't need a bathroom break. That's our only hope. <laughs> yeah. Was, Maybe yeah. they drank too much bang energy. Yeah, too much bang energy, and they're gonna, they're not gonna make. We are just having absolutely insanely good charging sessions. We saw a peak of 260, and then I think it tapered a little bit because the battery got a little bit toasty, but that is okay. This is our last charging stop. It's only 125 miles to get to where we need to go. Car thinks we need another 10%, so we'll charge it up to probably 55% state of charge, something like that, and then hammer into Vegas, at least as quick as the rules allow. So we are still doing over 200 kilowatts here at 50% state of charge. Let's just make sure that we can make it there. So everything on, let's cool down the cabin while it's still connected to the charger. One of the reasons that I turn off climate control is just to help cool the battery pack a little bit. So, yep, we are good to go. Let's unplug and head out. Thanks, Alyssa. There we go, I think she's got the hang of it now. Get it loaded up into reverse. Door unlocked for her, that's good. Let's do it. <laughs> Great, back up range mode and Hammer in. Getting a call from Jordan here. Jordan Schieffer. We I were so close. <laughs> so close to what? Like it was supposed to be charged for 16 minutes, get back on and beat Brandon. But the first uh, cable only did six or 70 kilowatts. And then we foolishly ran into the bathroom and then came back out and it was still 70 and then we switched cables and then we got full speed instantly. So we're like barely behind Brandon now. Uh, he might have another charge. He might, we, we, I don't think he needs another charge, but they might need a bathroom break. They're doing a four hour sprint, who knows? You're just gonna have to optimize like crazy. You're gonna have to like knife through traffic. You're gonna have to just kind of beat him on the driving. Yep. Yeah, He's just gonna get lazy and put it on autopilot. You're gonna have to work work through traffic. Arizona! All right, so we were neck and neck. And uh, let's see, yeah, 116 and 116. Kyle said we couldn't do it with the 20 mile deficit between the GOM and the remaining miles. But it's, uh, it's close right now, but we've gained 20 miles already and we haven't even descended all the way into Vegas. Brandon is just barely up there, like I think a couple miles. And um, Drew is in our rear view mirror. Well, not directly, but he's he's back there a few miles. Uh, I need to check that deficit actually. And Kyle's like 30 miles ahead of us. So and we the Mustang are, is, we don't know where. Not sure where the Mustang is, uh, but I need to check. Oh man. Yeah, traffic. So our, our hope is that we make up the time difference between Brandon and the Model X with traffic navigation. Maybe he's using autopilot, which means 
if there's a situation where he can move lanes to get around someone faster, he may not do that. I don't know. This is all total speculation. We don't know how much charge he had when he left Beaver, and we don't know if they can make it four hours without a bathroom break. Yeah. This is all very interesting, and it's, a, it's an interesting twist because we don't really know what everyone else is going through. Uh, I think Kyle has a pretty good idea because he's been on the phone with probably everyone most of the time. Uh, so this is, yeah, this is actually a lot of fun. Okay, so right now we're in Arizona about to get to our next supercharger, which is six minutes away. And once we get to that supercharger, we're gonna have 10% battery. So we should be good. And then it says if we charge for 15 minutes, we'll get 23% battery when we get to our final destination. So we're probably not even gonna be there for 15 minutes so that we can get yeah. to our final destination we, we in good time. House. So we'll get to the house. We'll figure out how long we're gonna charge for, but I don't think we're gonna win, but we'll probably come in second place. No, we're, we're, Kyle's, definitely, definitely Kyle's way ahead in the tie can, so we're going to try our best. Yeah. And our efficiency is great. Our efficiency right now is really good, so we're just cruising along. We're almost there. Okay, we just made it to Mesquite, Nevada at the superchargers. There's some over here, and there's also some over here. We're going to be pulling into these, and we'll charge up really fast, and then we'll make it to our final destination. And it worked pretty well. We went uh, no AC or any other auxiliary power sucking things. And uh, yeah, went from 3% showing now 10. Got the AC kicked back on. It's uh, but almost 90 degrees. And this area is just beautiful. There's a lucid, there's a lucid, cool. Let's see if these are working. Oh point. my goodness, that these is so exciting. Black, so I gotta... They're black, oh jeez. Here I'm getting super excited by the car at the charger again. Right now we are at Mesquite, Nevada. We just plugged in and this is our efficiency for the last, let's see, how was it? 142 miles, and actually that's really good. That's about three and a half miles per kilowatt. We just plugged in the Model X, and right now it's actually hitting 250 kilowatts, so that's pretty fast. We have good news from the Ionic 5. We hey. just passed Brandon, who, as I predicted, stopped at Mesquite right back there at the V3 supercharger at the casino. Great supercharger, by the way. Um, However, phenomenal bathrooms. It's <laughs> on the other side of the highway. Yeah, so they have to exit, loop around, go there, then come back down and loop back around to get back on the highway again. So. Yep. So I'd say they were five miles ahead of us that whole time, which means they exited and unless they charged for five minutes, we passed them and we did pass them, which yeah, means they've charged for more yeah, than five minutes. It. And we're only going five over. We see it right here. So we got excited because we got to the Arizona border. Boom, 80 miles an hour. And then boom, no longer because construction. Yeah, and there's no construction, but... Yeah, so just soaking up Nevada. Nevada? 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 Wait, are we in Nevada? Yeah, yeah. We are in Nevada. That's Arizona. Yeah, no, I've no. no okay, no. we left Arizona. Yeah, we're not in Arizona. <laughs> <laughs> but we have to climb 500 feet. We have a 10 mile deficit to our advantage, which is good. So it's, yeah. it's still going to be so uh, close ish, but you know, we'll, yeah. We'll <laughs> a better route planner says we'll make it. Yeah. How's it going, sir? We just passed the Model X. They had to stop and charge. No way. Yeah, they didn't, they shouldn't do it. They stopped at that casino with the really nice bathrooms and ski. That's a great <laughs> supercharger. Yeah, I said that in the video. <laughs> yeah. We said stay longer. Yep, yeah, um, tell yeah, them to go play some slots. Yeah, exactly. Um, so yeah, we were in that bad construction traffic at the moment. Hey, uh, and we made up the gong, by the way, bro. So we have uh, we have a 10 mile gap. Really? On the gong, yeah. All right, we're leaving this supercharger. We're gonna get to the place with 12% battery. So I think we're chilling to get on the road and- Try to beat Jordan. I think Jordan just passed us, but maybe he has to stop. Maybe his car will break down or something. So hopefully we get lucky. That's the sound of a hot, hungry car, right? What you have, Lucifer? It's black. <laughs> it's black. <laughs> Hello. Careful, careful. You don't want to press buttons. I, I really check mistake. here. Fifty-one percent. One hundred and nineteen miles of range. We're one hundred and twenty-five miles to the Airbnb or so. 
but there's no chargers at the Airbnb, and we want to go have fun tomorrow morning without looking for a charger, I think. So I think we'll give us a little bit of a buffer. We're getting there, getting close. Welcome to Las Vegas. We just went by the Speedway. We got music going, getting passed by Cummins Diesel. And uh, feels good to be in the lead, and not even in the lead by a little bit, by a lot. We were just on the phone with Jordan and Zach in the Ionic 5, and I think we all agree they screwed up in the beginning by not stretching the full charge range of their car. That's why we full charge the cars, is, is because you can only get your, your, your most amount of ranges on that first stretch. Get as far as you possibly can. I've been saying this forever. They must not have watched enough out of spec uh, motoring videos here. And uh, yeah, I think I think they would have probably not beaten the Taycan, but it would have been much closer. But still, they just passed the Tesla guys. They're still charging in Mesquite. Uh, I don't even know if Drew and Alice have made it to Mesquite yet. And um, we're we're already in Vegas, so here we are. I guess uh, master bedroom goes to the Taycan. Kind of feels a little bit slimy inviting everyone to come and race their cars and then beating them. What do you think, Melissa? Why? Because you purposely chose this car. Yeah, to kind of win. Yeah. But so it's not it's kinda of like, hey, why don't you come so we can beat you? Well that's on you. <laughs> you could have chosen any car. Next time we'll take the smart car. Yeah, no, I'm not going on that one. <laughs> Okay, okay, it hit 62%. We should have a 21 mile buffer. Awesome. We'll see. Yeah, that's uh, 146 miles of range, and there's 125 miles to our destination. So, and there's a key. <laughs> so, we should be good to go, and we should be able to do what we want to do in the morning, too. We added 118 miles of range, we had 62% state of charge, and we are on our way. Done charging for the day, hopefully. <laughs> yeah. And our final turn before we make it over to the Airbnb. Awesome. Looks like we got some good stuff around here. Got plenty of extra charge. We could have saved, I don't know, three minutes charging, something like that. So now we just need to figure out what exact road. Boom. And this must be the back in the garage. And what's the time? 5.18 p.m pretty good efficiency on the last leg if we take a look that since we got the car it's trip since 4 42 a.m that's i guess when we left the house pretty close 805.6 uh, miles 340 watt hour per mile 68 miles per hour pretty sweet so that's yeah just about three miles per kilowatt hour plus or minus and we've officially arrived so the final is. final descent to Vegas. You can see it. Champion in the distance. And we have a seven mile deficit. Delta, whatever you want to call that. Really pushed it at the end here. Yeah, so 20 miles to go, 14% battery. We'll be fine. Because there is an electrify America charger 2.7 miles from our destination, which is the Airbnb in Vegas. We did dial it back to the speed limit though. Yeah, instead of doing five over, we're just doing the speed limit because we have 14 miles advantage on Brandon. He's not gonna catch us in 20 miles. He would have to go like twice our speed. Oh, dude, one mile We made it to Chick-fil-A. <laughs> made it to Vegas. We Finally got off the highway. Feels good. I think final tallies are Kyle's been there for a while. Uh, yeah. <laughs> Brand well. Brandon's 10 miles behind us. Drew is like 30 miles behind us. And uh, Maki is 100 miles behind us. We beat the Mach. We beat the the Teslas. So that's pretty good. Yeah, that's. I'll take that any day of the week. I was not expecting that, but I'm happy about it. Welcome to the Ionic. I've been waiting forever. How long? I actually haven't even been inside yet. <laughs> I was <laughs> I was on the phone with Porsche, telling them how cool their car was. No. This is second coolest. So what are you at battery state of charge wise? 7%. Yeah, that's I think what we rolled in with roughly. Yep. A lot of that traffic light to get off the highway yep. is a bear. Yep. Yeah. We sat there for at least 15 minutes. Oh, oh. Like one minute. Oh, one minute. Oh, yeah. It we just. Nailed the time here, <laughs> <laughs> well, the car looks pretty good. Yeah. Uh, I don't know where we're going to park you. So I would just pull up here for now. 
Uh, check your efficiency and everything like that so we can log it all. Yeah, we got it right here. 2.8 average. So here are the stats, 809.6 miles, 2.8 miles per kilowatt hour, 11 hours, 29 minutes of driving. Yep. Solid. Google Maps said 12 hours and a half. You sure it wrong. Well, you technically it was still longer because you had to charge. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> well, <laughs> said like 13 hours? 13, 13 hours and 15 minutes, I think. What? Yeah. Welcome. Oh. <laughs> you both made the same noise at the it's same hot. time. Yeah, it's ah. it's toasty out here, but it's been cooling off actually since we arrived. Dude, how cool is this garage? Yeah, it's really really oh, sweet. Oh, I oh, that's two cars. I dude. took the liberty to, to, to park the uh, Tycon in the middle. Right in the middle. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Well, now it's just who arrives next, Drew or the Model X? Brandon. You think so? Yeah. Drew's gonna like eke out every last drop though. He will. But and he, Drew's better at knifing through traffic. He, he, yeah, that's true. But he charged, he got to the charger, I think, as Brandon was leaving. So. Oh, so Brandon's next. Brandon's next. Hey, Jordan, do you know where the mach -E is? I haven't heard. They were about 106 miles behind us. So. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so moral of the story is, this is a very expensive car we expected to do really well. This is less than half the price. This is the cheapest car on and you guys screwed the car by stopping early on the first one. Yeah. I think if you optimized better, this and the Taycan would be 10 minutes apart from each other, 15 yeah. minutes, something like that. Okay, so we will be at our destination in about six minutes. You can see the cities over there. We got 47 miles left on our battery and we're doing pretty good. Third but place. we're gonna be third place. We didn't make it. We're not last. We're not last at least, but we definitely aren't first. Or second. Or second. <laughs> Okay, we are about to I pull in. No, we went the... Oh, we missed it. Oh. Oh, well. Well, look who it is. The first place and second place winners <laughs> wow. in the garage. And it looks wow. Like and how through. much... We just got here. We have how many things? What happened, dude? We got stuck at that supercharger. It was half speed. Man. Dang. You pulled through. Sure. Sucks. Yeah. 70? Maybe next time. What? Hey, the Model X is just arriving. What time is it? Uh, it was like 6.55 when they got here. 5.55, you got the stats, the trip stuff. Let's take a look. Oh yeah. There we go, which one is it? Um, uh, this is our current average. Yeah. Cool, so that's on the last leg. Do you have right. like a trip have, A yeah, log? Yeah, I have pictures and I have it on my Tesla. Bag. Ah, sick, cool, that's awesome. Nice yeah. work, guys. Hey, good job getting first place. Oh yeah, the Tycon made it easy. Yeah. <laughs> All right, let's get a quick bug report on this front of the car. We had some bugs on the way here, but it's not that bad. Yeah. The car is looking pretty good. We had, I had a wasp. Um, that's a bug, not our map. Yeah, that's just a bug. It's not bad. Yeah. And here comes the Tesla Model 3. In for the time. There's Ruby <laughs> head out the window. <laughs> Perfect. And mark the clock. 611. Woo! Well, we got to do it on the way back. <laughs> Hi Ruby. Hi Ruby. Hi. Hi Alice. So we have a 12% arrival. That's amateur hour right there. Uh, yeah, we literally went um, in to go to the bathroom and came back and had way too much because uh, we finally got a charger that gave us, you know, like uh, actual like juice, actual juice. Right. So what's the trip stats here? Trip stats. The car smells brand new still. It is brand new <laughs> yeah. still. Well, technically not, but. So we don't have a full trip situation then. So we have. Uh, lifetime. We have lifetime, which is practically yeah, the like trip. this trip. Yeah. yeah. Well, that seems pretty good. Yeah. yeah. And you have Teslify on the car too. Do have Teslify. Yeah. So we can check that out. Yeah. Um, well, either way you lost. So it's never happened before. How does it feel? The car. Actually, did, hold did on. Lose. That is the yes. second time in the last week you have lost in a Tesla. The Rivian drag race. Yeah. Yeah. You keep using this word you. Yeah, you, know, you like like you. I think you're like, losing the edge. I, think, I don't know if you're using a different language or if like <laughs> it's like yeah, the car did. The car did lose. The car did lose. It, the car is slower. 
Well, actually, nice work because I think, um, yeah, you had some weird charging issues to deal with. And, Definitely. Uh, and yeah, then first time. Also, Alice and the dog. So, like, yeah, yeah, yeah that's yeah, yeah. awesome that yeah. you were able to do that. Yeah, the charging issues definitely highlighted by the first time I've had two consecutive stops, charging session stops. It stopped. I've just, never seen that before in all of my years of road just, tripping I just Teslas. Kept going, kept going, and then the third one worked. Worked. But did it work at its maximum? Mm, no, not even close. Yeah, it was like 100. Something. Yeah, never. So very weird. I would say like oddly bad performance from the Tesla supercharger network. Given my experience of road tripping Teslas right. and yours, it's yeah. normally just and, fine. And the last one, the one that we charged up too much, we hit 250. Oh, so you did We're see 250, 250 kilos. For like five minutes. Wow. Yeah, yeah. Rocking so, it. So obviously not the car. Not the car. It's all right. the network. Mach-E arrival happening soon. Let's go see. We've already drank a ton of whiskey. I have no idea. Why is it closed? <laughs> I have no idea. You go out the gate in the front. What the heck? Uh, so 6.51 arrival. 6.51 arrival. It's almost two hours after the Titan. Let's go see. Whoa, nice. Say that again. Hour and a half. Hour, hour and, and a half hour difference. Sweet! Hell yeah! So, arrival at 6.51 p.m., 11% arrival. Pretty sweet. How'd the car do on the trip? How was Blue Cruise? Blue Crew was good. Yeah. I just learned something. Yeah. Over 80, you had to put your hands back on. Ah! So I'm like, oh, that's disappointing all through Utah. Yeah. Um, so here's our final stats. 803.7 miles. 12 hours and 30 minutes, 2.6 miles per kilowatt hour. Yeah, so, nice. Yeah. We should actually, I don't know what the Taycan is, but we should compare the efficiency between yeah. the two and the Ionic 5 would be interesting. We were in England one time for doing that. Oh, what's that? Oh, it's dead even. That's hilarious. Oh, just, just got it. Just got it. <laughs> Thank you.